Create a FAQ page with Document 360. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with creating your own FAQ page using Document 360. So check the link out in the description to get started now and I will show you guys exactly how to get started. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to document360.com via the link down below. Once you do that, you can click on sign up over here. And once you click on sign up, you can begin with your 14 day free trial and all you need to do is provide some basic information. Once you've done that, this will be your home dashboard. So from here, we can begin creating our uh, FAQ page. Now, if I click on visit site over here, this will open up what my current site is uh, looking like. So FAQ is going to be the focus of this video, but let's say I don't want to include anything else. I want my product base or knowledge base to be directly for FAQ or maybe I want it to be for product documentation and the second section should be FAQ. So it's totally up to you how you want to integrate that, but I'm going to do the direct FAQ route. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my portal and click on homepage builder. And from my homepage builder, I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to rename this to FAQ and I'm just going to, you know, add these basic headings. You can remove them if you want. Then I have the next section, which is directly to the documentation. Maybe I'm going to remove the link from here and I might want to, you know, move the search bar up. So you can choose to do that. You can also add a documentation link if you want. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to leave it. Then below that, I can click on add new block and let's say I want to add text columns. And uh, I will make certain categories. So let's say that I have one category in my FAQ. Now, depending on the type of business that you have, depending on what type of knowledge base you are creating, your categories will be different. So if I have a business that is related to apparel, maybe I'm shipping items to my customers or my clients, then I might have questions like, um, you know, shipping or delivery services, returns, orders, product info, um, you know, um, corporate, so on and so forth. So first off, I'm going to enter the first section. Let's say for the sake of this video that we have a clothing business and I'm creating my FAQ for my clothing and accessories business. So this is like the first section and then I can click on change icon color and I can change it however I want. So let's say I want it to be black and then I can click on change icon. I have a few icons that are provided by Document360 for free or you can even upload your own image if you want to do that. So I'm just going to use this icon. Then I'm going to enter the second section which might be shipping and delivery. And then you can enter your description for that as well. Now I'm just going to leave it as it is and so on and so forth. You can add more sections. So I'm just going to go on ahead and continue. So I think this is enough for the example and I'm just going to publish this over here. So now if I click on view site over here, this is what it currently looks like. And now I will begin adding my actual articles. So for my knowledge base articles, all I have to do is click on documentation on the top left of my screen over here. And from here, you're going to click on your workflow assignments and you can see any of your previous articles over here. But if you don't have any, you can go on ahead and simply begin creating them. So you can see you have your drive section and you can just click on new folder and create a new folder to begin uploading your articles. So I'm just going to click on new folder and I'm just going to name this product info and this would be the one that is going to be, uh, you know, containing all the info regarding the products that I have. So it might be where do we source our materials? So you can enter all that information, but I'm just going to go directly into the documentation section, go into our drive. And I'm just going to go into all content and click on new. And now from here, you can choose to upload any files that you already have that might be regarding your knowledge base, or you can write your own from their templates as well. You have two options. Uh, I do think that writing directly over here is a lot more helpful as well, because if you go, uh, you know, and create a new one, it might not format as properly. So you can just click on new over here, click on add category. And I'm just going to add our three categories. So it was shipping and delivery. And then I'm going to add my next category, which is going to be returns. And now once I have created all three of my categories, I can begin writing articles. Now in your articles, you can include any kind of knowledge format. So simply click on the category that you want to enter your article into. Click on add over here and you can add a article that you have already written simply by import articles. So you can import from Word, Google Docs, Confluence or Dropbox. But I'm just going to click on add article. 
and you can choose to start from a template if you already have a pre-existing one or just click on new article and i'm just adding a very basic article in my faq now after that i can begin typing the information about my actual business this is just a sample so i'm just leaving it as it is and you can choose to enter images as i showed you guys so if i go on ahead and take a look at this i'll just create another article so i'm gonna click on add add article now, I do have a couple of tips and tricks for you guys. So, you can see you can insert images, videos, whatever kind of video format, and then you can publish it. You can link, hyperlink YouTube videos as well, and they will pop up. Now, there are a few things you need to do when you are creating your FAQ. The first thing is that you want to make sure you go into your online ticketing. And once you go into your ticketing, you want to see what kind of questions are people asking. So, you want to uh, see what people actually want to know about your business, what people are looking looking for what kind of questions do they often have and you want to take a look at the questions that you're getting asked and then make sure to answer according to those because a lot of times people think that okay I have you know I've set it all up I have you know a bunch of information but if the information is difficult to find so like you can see on my homepage now how do I access the next page well for that once you've written your articles you're going to go into your uh, homepage builder and in your homepage builder you're simply going to go on ahead and you can see you have your little article categories, but you have to actually hyperlink these specific categories. So if you click on new block, you can click on text page or you can click on knowledge based categories and you can just go on ahead and select these categories. And just like that, it will appear. Now I'm going to delete the bottom block instead because I don't want to hyperlink. I just added the categories directly. And now if I click on publish and click on view page, so I'm going to refresh my knowledge base page over here so you can see I have product information, shipping and delivery. And then you can see the article over here. I have my uh, second category as well. And you need to make sure that you are writing articles that are going to help your customers and clients in the questions that they actually are looking for. So make sure it is searchable. Like I added this search bar over here. This will help your clients in finding the information that they are looking for and reduce or deflate your online ticketing. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to get started with Document360 today. It is a amazing knowledge based solution for all of your needs plus they start for free you don't have to pay anything and you can invite multiple team members to help you set up your own knowledge base and make sure to check the link in the description to get started today so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below, and I will try to answer as soon as possible. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.